Hey guys, welcome to Elevate Tech. In today's video, let's see the real-time scenario of how BDD can be implemented in a project. So let's get started. Just to remind you, for the BDD to be followed, we have Agile process as a prerequisite. So it all starts with the PO. So PO comes up with the user story. User story basically contains the details of what is the change we want to achieve through the particular iteration. So this will be the input for the next coming phase, which is the discovery. And in this, all the teams will collaborate to discuss about this particular user story. And to be precise, we have the three amigos mainly involved in this meeting. So which are the dev team, QA team and the people. And in some projects, we do have a technical lead. And also based on the user story, we'll be adding the dependency teams into these meetings. So if this requirement change is dependent on the other teams, let's say if it is dependent on the DB team or else the ops team, so we will be adding their respective teams into these meetings. So in this meeting, we'll be discussing about this change through the examples of what to be explored and discovered. So by this, it reveals the gap between the understanding of the requirement and let the team know where they need more info before starting. it. So each will be presenting their understandings through the examples. And if there is any other info that is needed, PO will get back with that info. And by the end of these meetings, all comes up with the agreement of what the expected output is, which we call it as definition of done. So we got the input as the user story and the output as definition of done and the examples of the features, how it should behave. So this goes to the next phase where the test team will take these feature examples and design their automation tests and the development team will develop their code to implement these features. So once the development team is done with their code, they'll be deploying the code and the testing team will test this application which was deployed and once we get the sign off of the testing, we'll be delivering the application to the end user. So this is how the process repeats. So by this, we'll be completing one iteration and then we'll be starting the next iteration in a similar fashion. So this is how BDD will be implemented in the organization. Here, what you can see is that through these meetings, we are reducing the gap between the understanding of the requirement, which will not happen in the regular linear models like waterfall model and also we are designing the test based on the behavior of the application so all the features which we get here as the examples are based on the behavior of the application rather than how to test it so development team will write the code based on how the application should behave and the testing team do follow the same process of developing the automation test based on how it should behave. So we are making the difference in developing the product by thinking of how it should behave rather than how to test it. Also, we do follow the other important process in the BDD, which is documenting the results which we get. So whatever we have written and whatever we have learned through this process, we'll be documenting all of them in any of the shared resources so that it will be visible across all the teams and can be used as inputs for the next coming iterations. So this is the whole process of how BDD actually works. I hope you guys got an idea on how the things happens in real time. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new today. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel and see you in the next video.